All right, y'all, we're gonna see how far I can get before my battery run out. So this is what we're gonna show y'all how to do. Y'all remember, I showed y'all how to do uh, mushrooms before, but I showed inoculating actual wooden logs that over there and I showed y'all I've been harvesting. I should have brought a knife. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all how to do it the easier way. So this is an old laundry basket. I had an old laundry basket that, as you can see, the handles tore off. But I bought another one because I'm going to do two of them. And this handle is tore up. So um, this is just a laundry basket. And you're probably like, well, why do you get a laundry basket? Well, you know how y'all be talking about, well, when you do this, you're supposed to either use a bucket or some container that you put holes in. I don't want to sit up there and drill all them holes when I got something perfect that's already got holes in it. Okay? And these, I'm going to grow them on straw for those people who do not have a hardwood to grow mushrooms on. So, and I can tell right now, I'm probably going to have to go get that battery. So this video is probably going to require some editing. But also what I got is uh, some easy straw. You just want some straw. You don't want the straw with the seeds in it or the fertilizer. You just want just regular straw. Now they want you to cold pasteurize it, or, or which is uh, basically soak it in hot water for an hour or whatever. whatever. Well, we're gonna try this without doing that. Um, we're gonna see what we get. Um, the reason is there could already be some type of fungi on the straw um, and it could overtake your mushrooms. But I don't think we're going to have that issue um, with this here. And the last thing that I bought was at Walmart. You can get a mushroom grow kit or you can go online and get a mushroom grow kit. Um, so I got more than one of these. Um, I got about, probably about two or three of them just to show y'all. They do work really well. That one started growing already. So these are um, oyster mushrooms. So these are actually ready to go. So I'm going to harvest them right quick. We're going to get them off. Harvest them. And um, I think I had two more that had already started growing uh, mushrooms as well. These, but these are a little bit past a prime. Those are a little crispy. I might throw those in with the inoculant and uh, these have started growing too. These are a little bit past they prime too. They're a little crispy. So you got to rip them off to get them out the box anyway. So no big deal. So what I'm going to do first is uh, get the straw open. Make sure y'all can see. Okay, yeah. Like I said, I should have brought a knife. I don't have one, so I'm gonna make do. So basically, what you want to do is layer this. So you want to take, I'm trying not to waste too much straw. Take some of the straw, put it down in there open up one of these kits you're supposed to just rip the side of this off and they'll grow out through the plastic but uh we're not going to use this like an actual grow kit we're using this in a place of say mushroom spawn that you would buy um oh it comes with a little mister bottle and instructions I've grown one of these before, so there's no need of me even really looking at that. But as you can see, see how full, see how you can't even see. This is grown on probably sawdust. Uh, that's what, kind of what it looks like. It's hard to tell, but as you can see, it's completely colonized the whole block. All you can see is uh, the mycelium. So we're going to rip this open. When I checked out, the girl at the stove was like, what is this? She thought it was like something strange. So you can see all this beautiful mycelium. And it's still moist in the bag, which is good. So what you want to do is just kind of break up some. And yeah, it was grown on sawdust, I'll show you. See how it's completely colonized the sawdust? So that's why you grow these on logs. Because mushrooms naturally in nature 
they grow on fallen uh, timber or wood and it's usually hard woods usually not soft woods there are some exceptions i'm sure but we're talking about the mushrooms that you want to eat um i'm not growing any psychedelics if you into that more power to you but it's not really my thing i'm crazy enough as it is um just regularly so i don't need nothing psychedelic you know what i'm saying that's why i tell people i see i don't have a problem relaxing and all that different stuff that people have problems with why they be you know doing a lot of smoking and all this different kind of stuff i don't have them issues that stuff would just probably make me more crazy which wouldn't be a good thing and i need to pay attention to make sure to see which mushrooms i'm growing because i got two different kinds and i don't want to so basically this straw what it's going to do is is act very similarly to the um, sawdust that this is growing on and it will colonize the straw just like this and then when it's ready it will um, start fruiting just like the mushrooms that are on my logs they will do it'll do the same thing it's doing to them it's just that those are shiitakes and you have to grow them on wood um, I've tried to grow them on other things and I can get the mycelium to grow um, like I got the mycelium and stuff to grow on um, like sawdust and leaves but it never fruited so that's why I'm going to do oyster mushrooms like this because oyster mushrooms are such an aggressive mushroom that they will grow on anything pretty much um, I bought two of these bales but I don't think I need two bales probably could have got away with one but anyway that's one of them let's rip open this other one the ones that are hard and dried up put them in there. can't hurt right These are pearl oyster mushrooms, in case anybody's wondering. But you know what? I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna layer this, and then I'm going to uh, come back once I got it all the way to the top. But it's the same thing. Just straw, um, media, which is your crumbled up mushroom stuff. Straw, continue on. I'll come back when we at the top. All right, we're back. Now that we pull up to the top, now we just gonna get these wet down oh this is heavy oh so you just want to get this thoroughly wet and since this already has holes you shouldn't uh, All right, I got to get some more water. And you want to push that down too to make sure it's got good contact. With the uh, with the with the uh, media that, that's in there, so that stuff compacts down pretty cool. Might be able to just add straw to the top as it grows. Y'all should see Chris. Chris is like running around the yard. I would have turned the camera, but he's running too fast. You know, to be able to make y'all motion sick. But yeah, this is simple though. Just layer everything. The straw was like 15 bucks. 
the kits. You can get one kit for 12 bucks, and you can just do this for one kit, but I wanted a little bit more media in there so it'll grow a little faster. Like I said, you want this thoroughly wet down. It has holes in it, so when it gets full, it'll run out of the bottom. And I really wish I had done this uh, the day before yesterday because it rained all day. So hopefully, before long, I have oyster mushrooms. It shouldn't take very long for them to grow. Um, they are a pretty aggressive mushroom. Chicken of the woods and hen of the woods is aggressive too, which um, they don't sell those at Walmart. If you want some of the other types that can grow on straw, like chicken of the woods, hen of the woods, I think lion's mane will grow on straw or sawdust, but they all will grow on sawdust. Um, you're gonna have to order that spawn online. The spawn I ordered for my shiitake mushrooms, I ordered it from North Spore. I do recommend them because my shiitake mushrooms, as you can see, they make mushrooms. Um, but um, I bought some spawn from somebody, another place one time, and it never made mushrooms. I don't know if it was a combination of me or just the mushroom spawn, or what. but. Um, I know these are grow because they was already growing in the store. I freaked the girl out at the store. And she seen the mushrooms growing all out the side of the box. Oh, there goes Chris again. Oh, now he's running up a tree. I wonder if when he gets up there, will he be like, oh, is that something? Okay, now. Look at Will. Will come out. He off today. So he should be sleeping all day. But he's not. He's been playing in the yard. Alright. Alright, y'all. So that's how you do this and look for updates on how they're growing and how everything's doing. All right.